and Boy the Game, a medacious sympathy action mode features a story of the movie tale but with a taste of ant action. It's a game where you shoot towards on a big squirmy caterpillar as waiting to be a buddy arrival to you. This game is epic. The first start of it just a mouthy, nummy piece. You just can't stop playing it, can ya? Some parts are a little frustrating, but it's a goodness quality for a movie title. Hell yeah. Infinity and beyond. Okay, that's from Toy Story. Never mind. The volume feature are like similar to Zelda Link to the Past, but the twist. So I can't say they're really a Zelda complete compilation. They just made their own original skill and style, then rapturing some Muffin in Space! Muffin in Space! Muffin in Space! Okay, we're going overboard. The audition of this factory game is true gold. It's a winner in your GBA collection. The backs are a little tedious, but they have a charm of rivals in your face. The ant puzzle in this lofty world can be quite difficult. Especially those rocky damn switches. Fuck your rocky boss and crazy metering foss. Rocks are just to hit a plate of shit. I don't like to go through again eternally. So this winnable game is high thickets to be very, very creative. The frog boss is my favorite, and just watch this clip and tell me if you're just high on crack right now. <laughs> I know I'm a belting with excitement. Epic last final battle with the Exterminator. Hell yeah! The game will throw you in off some situations that that's not in entirely. And there's fire flaming crystals you need to collect off your air boning backs. So do you have to take to make it Lucas out of the autumn form? Or die in a solid patch of ant poison? I give this game an 8.6 out of 10. Not bad, pretty sure. But overall, it will take you two days. In a game that will only take you 30 minutes. Oh, you're gonna make me another sequel. Please.